Hello, so this has just started happening on my radio. I've had it a few times in the past where it wouldn't come on, but normally by pressing and holding the button, I've managed to clear it. So you can see it's not coming on there at all. And there's a couple of things I'm gonna test and check. I've heard it's quite a common thing, especially as these cars are what, 23 years old? But there's a thump, but if you listen, there's a little pulse that I can hear. Now that's actually coming from my subwoofer. I've got a little dial here that increases the uh, depth of bass because I'm a child. Actually, it's working to my advantage because something's happening. It's as if something's trying to turn on because that sub I can hear is, is, is making a noise. If I turn the subwoofer off, you wouldn't really hear it. Um, but if I press the on button here, so if I go to audio, I've got nothing coming up. Normally it would show as radio, I'll go to radio, my presets will be there. So the first thing I'm gonna try and do is do a reset. Now, if I keep talking here, you'll probably see that this will then say unavailable, system unavailable. There we go, system unavailable. Um, and it's gonna shut down now. There we go. So it's not coming on at all. I did manage to get it to work, but this has just happened today. And I've had it working today, but now it's started to play up again. Um, so what I'm gonna do is a reset, but you have gotta be quick because you've only got about 15 seconds before the screen clears. So let's press on, we get the logo. I managed to kind of force it to come on because I've got a CD player in the single slot and I managed to get that to play and it came to life, but it's not doing it now. Let's go to service, let's go to system, let's go to reset and we're gonna go yes, use the arrow buttons. I'm talking fast because I haven't got much time. Are you sure you want to reset? Yes. Command is being restarted, all data has been reset. Let it do its thing, let's see what happens. Let's turn itself off, let's turn it back on again. I can hear the CD player whizzing around, not the auto changer in the back, but the single one in the front there. I get the standard message. If I go to audio and radio, nothing's coming up. As if something's trying to happen. So my reset didn't work, so that's no good. This time I'm gonna press and hold it and try and reset it that way. If you keep your finger on it, the logo should pop up. There we are. Nope, still nothing. So, things we've tried, we tried the reset, factory reset, um, and I've tried to press and hold it to force it to shut down. Let's try the CD player. I managed to get it to work before. We got track one. I can't hear it skipping to track two. Press okay anyway. Sometimes that works. system unavailable and I hear a relay in the back it sounds like it's coming from I just recently fixed that rear window defroster and there's two relays in there and it sounds like it's the one next to the defroster they're exactly the same so what I'm going to do is wait for that click that I just heard because it definitely sounds like a relay put my finger on the relay and see if that's the one and then at least I know that relay is having something to do with our command system I like to take this front cover off because it allows me to see in there a little bit easier. Retrieve my spare fuses. Right, now, in here, this one here, that's the relay that I'm talking about. And this one on the left is for the rear heater. So I'm gonna play around with the command unit, put my finger on this and see if I can hear it or feel it. So I checked that other relay on the right. It's nothing to do with that. It's actually, I think, coming from this side. Now, in here is originally where the CD changer was, and, oh, my battery's running out and my torch is flashing at me. And also the CD changer and the amplifier sits underneath this. And to get to it, you've got to bloody take the whole thing off. However, if you've got the CG out of the way, you can actually still access it without having to do that. So I'll just remove some of this junk in here. Bring it. This here, by the way, is uh, my subwoofer speaker cables. In case I want to put a subwoofer inside, I just paste, basically put spare ones in there. And in the front cover here, what I've done is, this here, this little Mr. 12 volt, is what is giving me my CD uh, quality music streaming. It gives me audio, it gives me USB, and I've wired it all through into the center armrest. Open up my armrest. So here, I've got my USB, and this one here is my audio in 
which I could put a splitter on it if I really wanted to, but this there goes to that DAB. And my pure DAB sits just here. I can just change any channel I want. At the moment, it's got LBC. It's a channel in the UK called um, London Broadcasting Company. And that then talks to, to this little antenna here. There's my DAB aerial, which just runs all the way above behind that panel there. So now, at the back here, there is the fiber optic cable. And this fiber optic cable, this orange one, is one thing I want to check, because if that's not seated correctly, then we might get issues. Another thing is that this here was originally where it went into the CD auto changer, and obviously I don't have that now. So if I turn on the command unit, you'll see that this should light up which it does, you can see the flash there, and it will then go through my Mr. 12 volt, and that will do its thing, and it's basically a loop inside there. Now, it looks all clean, it looks all good, it's flashing at me. So let's plug it back in again. And then this red wire, this is my power lead. So let's plug that in. Okay, so that's it back on. Well, I'm gonna keep talking because otherwise I'm gonna get a copyright strike. But as you can hear, I've got a little bit of NJ playing, a little bit of Michael Jackson. Better turn this off in case YouTube gets a bit upset. Wait there, wait there. Right, so it started to work. So that's interesting, it started to work. I literally pulled out the optics cable, popped it back in again. I know this has been an issue on certain cars. I've, I've seen people talk about it. I've also had exactly the same thing on a Range Rover, which um, if that's not seated correctly, it can give issues. The bottom line is, I think it's working. So let's have a little play um, and let's see what we can learn from my little fault finding exercise. So let's turn it back on again. Oh, turn off the old uh, MJ, don't want that. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Right, audio, let's go to radio. And here we go. It says 87.5 because in the UK, that's what it goes to by default. So I think we're getting somewhere. If I press scan now, there we go. It's picked up uh, radio two. So in all sense of purposes, this is now working. Obviously I've got music playing. I'm gonna keep talking, otherwise YouTube is gonna get all upset this uh, Friday afternoon. It's Ian Skelly here with all the music. So the next thing I'm going to check is now that I've got sound, um, by just reseating that fiber optic cable, it seems to have put it back into life. Now, if you've got a CD auto changer, that connection that I've put into my Mr. 12 volt is where your auto change is going to be. So take out your orange fiber optic and have a look and see if that's seated correctly. It could just be that it's slightly disturbed. You never know, a bit of dirt on it but my CD DVD player wasn't working and the sat nav, that wasn't working either. So now that this has come to life, let's try those out and see. Right, well the navigation, that seems to be on as well. It's not quite correctly in the way coordinates wise, but at least it's working. And I think as I drive around, I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that'll update itself. So I'm not gonna go any further at this stage. I was gonna have a look at the DVD player at the back, which does the navigation for the sat nav, because I thought maybe there's a, a dirty CD, maybe that's causing an issue, maybe the connection to it, I don't know. But importantly, that fiber optics orange cable, if you've got one on your car, which goes to your CD auto changer, which is behind the rear left, driver's side in the US, passenger side in the UK, etc. Have a look and see if that's seated correctly before you go any further and start looking at cables and fuses, etc. It might just be that's all you need to do because it seems to be working for me now. Good luck, let me know how you get on. Okay, so whilst we're here, let's have a look at my Mr. 12 volt. That's the adapter that I use, which gives me the Bluetooth music streaming. It gives me USB, it gives me audio. And at the moment, just here, I've got my options here. I've got radio, CD auto changer, but I haven't got the CD auto changer physically in the car. It's connected to that Mr. 12 volt. And then I've got CD, which is your single CD here. So let's do that first, press my CD. Obviously it goes to track one and it's gonna start playing a little bit of Michael Jackson, which I need to keep talking. Otherwise I'll get a copyright strike. Okay, all good and hood right there. Right, okay, go back to audio, press the CD auto changer and it's gonna to go to audio in. It's playing the radio. So what the audio in is, is connected to my DAB. And my pure DAB sits just here. 
I can just change any channel I want. At the moment, it's got LBC. So that talks to this little antenna here. There's my DAB aerial. And then when I select audio in from my CD menu, by pressing the number six button, I get my DAB radio. So if I now press the six button again, it's now gonna go to my phone and it's gonna play the music that I got on my phone. You can see that the name comes up here. And likewise, if I, if I press the forward button, it's gonna to go to Supertramp, a logical song. It's gonna to go to Go Your Own Way by Fleetwood Mac. Equally, I can press the up and down arrow to go through it this way. I've got a bit of Queen, wanna go back. I'll go back to a little bit of Fleetwood Mac. And that's giving me CD quality music streaming straight to the car. You can just about hear Fleetwood Mac there. Please don't copyright strike me, YouTube. Now if I press number six one more time, it's then gonna go back to my DAB radio. I also have, I've got USB, I've got micro SD, which I can connect to the Mr. 12 volt. I think somebody's got a tire pump going, they've got a flat tire. But I've also got audio in, which I can connect with say a device such as my DAB radio, which is what I use it for. So if I wanna connect a USB now, so what I normally do if I want to, I've got a little USB um, adapter here. I don't know, it's got bloody, these days you can put about 50 gig on something that is small. And I just simply plug it in there, like that. So now I've got my USB connected. And if you have a look at the screen, now when I press my audio button and I press my CD button, I'm gonna have a third option. So if I press six, it'll go through. Here's my USB. And again, I can flick through the tracks that way. Bit of Queen, bit of Human League, bit of Aztec camera. And as well as that, if you haven't got Bluetooth um, hands-free calling on your phone, one of these little guys in here, then it comes with a microphone and you can do hand-free calling as well. Pretty good, huh? That's one, two, three, four, five, six things. Not bad for the money. If I press it again, I've got my audio in. If I press it again, I've got my Bluetooth, which is from my phone. So I've now got radio, CD here, I've got DAB, I've got USB, and I've got phone Bluetooth streaming. Hey look, if Mercedes is your sort of thing, especially Mercedes SL, got loads of videos. This is kind of what I specialize in. And the command unit, which I've been playing around with, which is now working again, you can actually completely change the screen. I had a problem where all the dot matrix on it was going a bit funny. It was all like blotchy and splurred and it looked like it was leaked. Replace the screen, take it apart. There's about 13 little screws, but you can do it. Just take your time. There's little ribbon cables. I've done a really good video. Have a look at the end. There's a playlist all about it. Hey, if you took the time to subscribe as well. Much appreciated. See you on the next one.